ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, all ages, welcome to Rob Sports, I'm your host Robert. Alright, we are going to do the NASCAR Tuesday Series Driver Power Rankings. Uh, we're going to start with last week at Atlanta, and then we're going to do the year to date. So, my power rankings from Atlanta, <laughs> number 10, Sam Mayer, finished ninth in the race. Number 9, Ryan Sieg, finished 11th in the race. 8th at the end of stage 1, 6th at the end of stage 2, 8th <clears throat> on the power ranking is Josh Berry, he finished 7th in the race, and he actually finished 7th at the end of stage 2 as well. Brett Moffitt, number 7 on the list, he finished 6th in the race and 6th in stage 1. Number 6, John Hunter Nemechek, he finished 8th in the race and 3rd at the end of stage 1. Daniel Henry comes in at number 5, he finished 2nd in the race, and he finished 7th in stage 1. Number four, Riley Herbst finished fifth in the race. <coughs> fifth in stage one, second in stage two. Third is Ryan Jurex, finished third in the race. Number two on the power rankings for the week of Atlanta, Parker Klingerman. He finished fourth. He won stage two. And of course, the number one for the weekly power rankings, Austin Hill. He won the race, won stage one, and finished eighth in stage two. As for the year to date, Number 10, we have rookie Sammy Smith. Four stages in the top five, five stages in the top ten. On the season, one win, one top five, one top ten. Number nine, Cole Custer. He's got two stage wins, two stages in the top five, two stages in the top ten, and a one top ten on the season. Number eight, Daniel Hemrick. Three stage top fives, five stage top tens, one top five, and two top tens on the season. Number six, or seven, Josh Berry. Four stage top tens, two season top fives, four season top tens. Number six, Sam Mayer. One stage top five, five stage top tens. On the season, one top five, three top tens. Number five, rookie Chandler Smith. Four stages top fives, seven stages top tens. Three top fives or three top tens, and that close to a win. Number four, Justin Algaier, three stage wins, five stage top fives, six stage top tens. I'm sorry, three stage wins, five stage top fives, six stage top tens, three top fives, and three top tens on the season. <coughs> now, it is the all star car, but the Collie car number 10 would fall in right here. That number 10 this year with <clears throat> Austin Dillon, Kyle Bush. Justin Haley, um, four stage top tens, eight stage top tens, one top five on the season, and five top tens. Number three, Riley Herbst, five stage top fives, <clears throat> nine stage top tens, two top fives on the season, and five top tens on the season. Number two of the year to date driver power rankings, Josh, John Hunter Nemechek, two stage top fives, six stage top tens. On the season, one win, two top fives, and five top tens. And of course, number one has to be Austin Hill. The dude is on fire. El Fuego this year. <clears throat> Not only three stage wins, seven stages in the top five. Of the ten stages we've had, eight stage top tens, three wins, three top fives, and five top tens on the season. That is the weekly and year-to-date driver power rankings here on Robert Sports Show for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Make sure you check out the Truck Series power rankings and the Truck Series Xfinity Series um, weekly race preview. Thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports talent content.